Hey Ravens, welcome to Game Day Northwest. Today, recaps of all our fall sports. Let's get started. The football team fought hard this season. Let's pass it over to Ben Blaze and Angie Torres for the recap. This year, the Raven football team got off to a slow start, losing their first three games in heartbreaker fashion. They bounced back and won the next two games, making the record two and three. After losing in Lawrence Free State in Olathe North, the Ravens capped off their regular season with a 34-0 win against Shawnee Mission South, leading to their third ever playoffs. Look right, he's gonna throw a screen to Elijah Rowland. He's got one guy to beat, and oh, two guys. He jukes right out of two guys. Oh, he's gonna stay on his feet. He's gonna run down the side, touchdown, late the Northwest. Oh, Elijah Rowland. They face Gardner Edgerton in the playoffs, resulting in the Ravens losing another nail biter 23 to 16, leaving the 2016 record 3 and 6. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Angie Torres and Ben Blades. Now back to the desk. Great season, boys. This year, the boys' soccer team won one of the best seasons in school history, going 15-3-1. Let's kick it over to Zach Clay for the story. The Ravens' soccer team had an amazing season, setting the school's best record at 15-3-1, as well as breaking numerous individual records. Even though they had such a great season, the team saw room for improvement. We had a good season. We set a lot of records, the most wins, uh, fewest losses, most goals, least goals conceded. But in the end, we didn't reach our ultimate goal, which was win state. But I think in the end, we had a good year. Next year's team will hope to continue this success and win the state championship. Congratulations to the Ravens on having such a successful season and being arguably one of the best soccer teams in school history. Way to go, boys. The cross-country team had a great showing at state with eight Ravens running at state. Alex Gable has the scoop. With cross-country season over, Trey Seba and Lee Willman think back to their season and how they did. The season went really well. Um... I mean, there were some struggles kind of like the beginning of the year, um, kind of with just trying to get of, you know, putting a lot of miles over the, the year. I think the season went really well. We had a really strong girls team this year, and it was really fun to get to know everyone. With Leah placing the highest of all O&W girls runners and Trey being the only boys runner from O&W, they reflect on what their favorite memories were. I think state was a really fun memory to be able to go with like a team rather than an individual. It was a really good bonding experience for all of the girls. Kind of the memory I share with the team. Um, we've never really had a close um, formed varsity boys team and this year we kind of all banded together. The season is over and for runners planning on returning next season, here's some advice. Stick with it. It's a lot of work and I mean you have to like consistently train throughout the winter but it's definitely worth it. Listen to your running coach. They do do things. Um, <laughs> Game Day Northwest, this has been Ox Cable. Now back to you guys. Nice job, runners. This golf season, we had the entire team go and place third. Let's swing it over to Will and Cooper for the scoop. Um, this past season that we just finished, um, I think that it went pretty well. Um, this year, we finished third in the state, and um, we had a couple um, place individually. We had one place in the top 20, and two of us placed in the top 10. Playing with my sister is probably a lot more different than any other season I've had. Um, she is quite um, different, and she just brings a lot of joy to the team, I guess. <laughs> I guess some hopes from next, for next season are that some of us girls will start really working hard and um, practicing up on our skills over the summer, over the winter, over the spring, over the fall. And that just we play all together and just build relationships and have fun. I really want to win state next year. Um, I really want to work hard to try and win. I was really close this year. I was really close my freshman year, so I think I can do it. Um, I hope next year that we can um, do better at state and place higher. It's pretty enjoyable. I mean, the competition was um, pretty hard and tough against her, and she got mad at me sometimes, but we worked through it. Uh, you plan on winning state next year? I mean, everyone does, but there's so many good golfers out there. I just hope I can do my best. The state champion volleyball team had a great season. Let's send it to Nick and Roan for the recap. Georgia, catch it. Catch it. I got it. Oh, you got it? You got to hit it now. 
<laughs> the 6A title for volleyball belongs to the Lady Ravens. We sat down with Tiana Omazic, Megan Cooper, and Georgia Mullins to talk about the season. How does it feel to be called a state champion? So good. Yeah. It's so good. Finally, people are realizing how good we are. Honestly, <laughs> like, I, I'm going to be honest, like, being the state champs, I mean, we got a ring, guys. We got a freaking ring. Facing adversity throughout the year, the girls found a way to succeed. As our expectations coming into O and W volleyball, um, we still had high hopes, and we stick together as a team. We lost to Libero last year, which was she played an important role on the team. But I think that our expect expectations definitely rose as the season go. Especially on. since after last year, we had a really strong team, and then we went to state and completely choked. So, and I know like I wanted to win a state championship really bad, and. This year's seniors concluded their careers at Northwest with a record of 152 and 24. It's been really nice. I mean, I know we lost half of those um, games in like our freshman year, but um, I think we definitely set a tone for the program. We definitely did. Going off of that, we definitely set a tone for the program. Even with the success on the court, they will mostly miss the bond they created together. What do you love most about this year? Um, these girls. Definitely we really girls. connected, like more than any of the years that I've been on. We were all so close. We would hang out in the hotel room in like one person's room and stay up all night. Work hard. Give 110%. <laughs> Way to go, state champs. That's it for Game the Northwest. For Matt Vetterslice, I'm Alex Gable. Now back to the desk.